Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here, and we're going to do a little bit of a uh, kind of a off the wall video here, something I don't normally do, and it's just basically going to be some ship hunting. Uh, if with the new orbital update, uh, not much special going on in this episode, other than I'm going to be flitting around here and there. I have my own way of looking for ships and looking for parts, and while there are ways to get unending amount of parts, I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. Now you notice mine says custom right now on my main save. It's because I did change the options on that save, so we're going to get into it right now. You're also going to notice when I get in there that my Sunrunner is exceptionally damaged. Uh, did attempt to do a VR mode run of this and accidentally got myself into a firefight. And the fighting, the space fighting in, this, in these ships in VR mode is absolutely horrendous. I can't aim for the life of me. It's literally, they've got to be dead center right in front of me for me to hit them. So my ship is in kind of poor shape right now, um, unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly repair this guy up. Uh, I don't even know what's damaged. There it is. There we go. And you. And we need a magnetic resonator, two of them. Anything else damaged? Shields look okay. Yeah, they did a number on my ship, that's for sure. There you are. Make one more. There. Okay, we're back to normal. Thank heavens. Well, yeah, we got a quad circle out of that. That's funny. All right, we'll hang on to that. In the meantime, let's see what we got in our main inventory of our exosuit. We're kind of full in here, right? We've got a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move some stuff over to my starship right now. I don't even know why I have cytophosphate and 55 salty fingers in here, but we're going to get rid of those. There's a lot of upgrades in here, so I kept some of them that I was getting from certain ships like these. Uh, upgrades for shields were beyond 30%, so I'm hanging on to those. Those will be great for upgrades on my uh, new ship. Uh, so I'll put these over in my starship right now, this one, and I'll pull them out later. Hyperdrive. Yeah, there we go. Interesting. I'm keeping that for a reason. All right, let me get these Highline Brains out of the way. Uh, yeah, I got all kinds of stuff in here. You can even see it here. It's just like, hey, man, why do you have this? Don't judge. These are from my glitch uh, duplication that I was doing. There we go. Oh, that's a reactor core. Okay, we'll hang on to that in here. Um, actually, we got a, 10 of them already, so let's put it in our starship as well. And this is for Infernife and for the Minotaur Cannon. Yes, I'll put that in there later. All right, so as you can see, we got a good amount of stuff in here. Um, I was using this to find crashed ships, but I found that I have a better way of doing it. Um, get some of this stuff out of my way. All right, so here's all of our ship stuff. We've got wings. We've got... Uh, all kinds of neat stuff that I can build. I'm on the prowl for more ship wings and things like that. So let's go ahead and find some more ships if we could. We can stay here in these space stations. I just got to the system and I haven't been doing much in it. Uh, we could stay in these space stations and wait for ships to land and purchase them. And the reason why my save is now on custom is because I changed the purchasing difficulty down to... Uh, where to it go? It's in here someplace. Crafting purchases, I've, I've got down to discounted. I haven't made it free. So I just made it a little easier to purchase stuff because I was blowing through money like crazy. And yeah, I got over 4 billion credits, but trust me, when you're in standard mode, you're going to go through that real fast. And you see, even my nanites are dropping real quick here, too. So I'm going to have to go on a nanite run sooner or later. Anyway, we're back in the space station. Let's go ahead and grab our ship and go for a little bit of a spin, and I'll show you what my, my way of doing things is. Now, I don't know if this is the right system. We've got to check out the planets. Okay, so that's a frozen planet. That ain't going to help us. We need oceans. All right. First person view. Let's take a look around. Uh, also, not oceans. Not oceans. I'm pretty sure that doesn't have any oceans on it either. There's one planet over this way. We may take, take a ride out to another system here. Because I'm going to use the Nautilus to find ourselves some... Good planets to find some stuff on. Alright, let's disappear from this system go elsewhere. 
Uh, and I'm trying to find three-star systems, of course. What's that? Hold on a second. <laughs> Let's go to New Beginnings. I'm looking for a message at the bottom right, because I saw there was a shield there. Not sure what that meant. Because I thought it might be regarding something I sent out. Let's go back into there. Let's go ahead and check it out real quick. Yeah, see? Something's wrong over here. Why is there a shield? Let's check it out. I'm curious. I've already been to that system, but... Very odd. Huh. Yeah, any time now. Come on, buddy. Okay. Nothing, huh? As you can see, I've been in the system. I don't see any problems. I mean, I know my freighter is here. I'm trying to find my freighter. I wonder if it, it might be on the other side of the space station. Hang on. I think that's where it is. Yeah, there's my freighter. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything going on. Alright, I don't know what that was about then. Don't know why there's a shield there. Maybe it's under, under my protection? I don't know. Okay. Oh, you know what we should do, though? Let's get something sent out on a mission while we're here. So let's get into our freighter. There we go. It's a lot of it's a lot of fun flying this ship. Great maneuverability and very fast. All right. So, let me check our freighter for fuel at 200 tons times 5. Okay, so that's good. So we should have enough to go through. Let me talk to this guy. And we'll get something going here. Now hopefully there is a... Decent expedition to do it on. And a mining one. Voyager Discovery at three stars. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign somebody to that mission that is not qualified for it. I know that sounds weird. So we're going to assign a ship. Because I'm not going to do all the S-classes, right? Or even A's or B's. We want somebody that's a C-class, like these science exploration vessels, which are, you know, two-star rated C-class. I've got some one-stars, but these are organics, and this, the organics seem to do a fantastic job, to be honest with you. Um, but what we look for is something in the line of exploration. So let's get one of these guys. I'm going to think I'm going to do the Triumph of the Ancients. Let's do that one. Okay. And we'll just have the one ship. So you see he's not, he's qualified, but not quite. So this is going to be a hard mission for him. Let's get that going. And any others? How about this one? Trade Expedition. Let's do the trade. Okay, and same thing. Who do we have? Got, a, got some miners. Trade, right here. Okay, we'll sign you. Okay, launch. Done. That'll be good enough for now. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get that uh, rescue that nobody's been seeing yet. Right? Okay. Time to go to a new system. Okay, onto the ship. Off the freighter. And into hyperspace. 
So I'm going to find a new system to go to that I haven't been to. You see this two icons there showing my freighters are on their way out there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to find a three-star system. Maybe, I don't know, we've done Viking. Have we done Viking yet? I don't know. Doesn't really make a difference. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there's one. Oh, good amount of planets. Let's go try that one out. G7 system, nice. So that means hopefully there'll be, be some decent stuff here we can deal with. Nice planets. I'm hoping there'll be some more water worlds. Water worlds? Water world. No, has nothing to do with Mr. Costner. And... We're there. Ah, that's promising. First world I see has water on it. Excellent. Let's take a look around. We got frozen. Got a moon there. Uh, not really worried about these two planets. How about you? Do you have water? I'll check it out. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it might be hot. Quagmire. Giggity. Okay. Take a look over here. Okay, that's a solid frozen planet. So it looks like we only got the one world that happens to have water on it. Check out the space station real quick, obviously, because we want to see what it looks like. Boink. All right. Well, that's different. Let's go up here and take a look at it from a different angle, huh? Fascinating. Really kind of cool looking, right? Yeah, it almost screams Viking at this point. Let's see what it looks like inside. I am curious. Kind of a hazy... wouldn't call it quite red. Kind of a pinkish mist. Very nice. Let's see what kind of upgrades we got. Starship Research. Check it out. Uh, so we got these reactors. I'm not going to get any this time. I'm going to hold off on getting more reactors because I've got a, a, a dozen of them as it is. Pulse Engine Module. Starship Shield, which we're doing good on. Okay, nothing special. I do want to check out Exocraft because I've been trying to get the cannons on my Minotaur boosted. Uh, there we go. Minotaur laser module. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's grab that. Yeah, okay, that'll be good. Just wanted a little bit. As usual, I'm going to run up here and see if this has any change. Sometimes they they can take Atlanta Diem. Sometimes not. Okay. I mean, I do have Atlanta Diem on my person or in my ship, right? Yeah, okay. Just checking. All right. So this gives us a rough idea what kind of ships we got coming in. So we got fighters with those neat wings on them. Uh, that's my ship. We got this guy. I like the X-wings on it. That's pretty cool. Not a big hauler person. So let's go ahead and see what this guy's ship is like. Make an offer. Uh, B-class, nothing special on the upgrades. Uh, so just cashing it out the way it is would probably work. How much is it? 1.7 million. Go ahead and grab it. I want those wings. I can get two ships. I think I've got ten. I can get two. See, there's the ship in question. See, that's not bad. Prices are a little lower because I have everything discounted. But I've got those wings. I've got those, uh, the rear engine. I've got a few of those. And the nose. The nose always knows. Okay. Okay. So let's take the X-Wings off this Exocraft. Uh, salvage. Customization part. You see, I get more money for them, too, though. Left or right wing doesn't make a difference. Just grab one, because they're the same. Okay, there we go. So here's another fighter right here. It's got the encasing wings, if you will. The angled ones inside. I think I've got the nose for this already. 
but I've never liked these wings. Love the engines, but don't like the wings. All right. So what are we doing? What we're going to do is we're going to head down to a planet. We're going to go to that water world that we saw down there, and we're going to drop our Nautilin in and look for ships. You can do the same thing with a Minotaur. So you can drop a Minotaur on the planet real quick, and then you can... Um, let me see where our world is that I saw. There you are. You can drop the Minotaur down, but you're going to find any distress signals above ground. Why is that an issue? Well, because you're going to find not only the po the ones that you want, like the crash ships with the distress beacon and you know, all that, but you're going to find occupied ships that are distressed, that are on the planet and crashed. So that's what you're trying to avoid. Well, that's a pretty planet. I love the blue ocean. Let's go over here towards the water, though. We went a little too far inland. There we go. That should be good. Let's check it out. Very nice. Kind of pretty, actually. Hmm. I don't want to land in a cave. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. It's not clear. Let's go over... Have it out here. Have it out here. This looks good. Just a little bit further. There you go. Thank you. It's pretty. It's a good looking place. Yeah, I tried to do VR mode and it just did not work out at all. The video came out really, really um, choppy. It's a good word. Real choppy. And uh, even though everything was, the audio was perfectly fine, the video was just terribly choppy. So I'm thinking my video card just had a little bit of a hard time keeping up with everything that it needed to do. So is what it is. All right, let's put in our Nautilin, uh, not the starboard runner. Exocraft Nautilin. I don't know if we can call it in. Hold on. Okay. Hold on a second. What the heck? Are these aggressive sentinel planets? No, I didn't want you. What do you mean it's not owned? I've pulled it in about a dozen times. There we go. And we're in. There we go. Now we can do it. See? Drown starships. Starship detected. And is this... Yeah, hostile patrols. Look at that. Okay. We're going to have to be careful then. I did not realize this. All right. So, drowned ship should be over there. Okay, let's see how far away it is. They'd always find you the closest one, so usually a couple minutes away is not unusual. There we go. Get our engines boosted a little bit and get there just a little bit faster. We'll check out this ship here. This seems to be the best way I have found to find crashed ships. Problem is, is that sometimes there may not be any land nearby. So, crash ship is in the middle of nothing. Looks like our closest little island is right there, if I can land on it. Good. Just gotta make sure no... Nobody shows up. Like that. Now you can do you can do the Nautilin again. I'm gonna drop in. There we go. Six hundred blocks away. Four hundred. Three hundred. 
Yep, ran out of juice, but we're there. And it looks like we got ourselves a pretty decent looking ship here. Looks like it got the needle nose on it. Ooh, wow, that is actually kind of nice. Huh, okay. Final mother, huh? It's a C class, but who cares what class it is, really? It's not going to give us much out of it. So we're going to compare it. We're going to claim it. And we're going to get inside of it. Okay. So we should have what we need, with the exception of the dihydrogen gels. So let me just make one real quick. And I like to get the shields upgraded as well. The shield repaired. Yeah, that. Okay. For some reason, when I try to call on a ship that doesn't have its shield repair into the space station, it will not appear. It tells me it's uh, too damaged to accept the changeover to that ship. So I've been having to repair all three of these to get it to come in. I don't know why. But needless to say, we have ourselves our first ship. Again, I don't mind the engines too bad. I already have these wings on the side. That's pretty good. Um, but the needle nose, I'd like to get a couple more of those. I'd like to get one of those. So I'm probably going to do go ahead and part this one out and get it. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Uh, well, you know, we can hit this while we're here. The stress beacon. Not going to read it. Um, extract components from dead sentinels or we investigate the sound in the cockpit. I think we should investigate the sound. Increase your feasts on the pilot's body. It wounds me, but I retrieve an exosuit tech blueprint from the corpse. Like what? I think I have all of them. Oh, yay. A C-class movement module. Yay. Now, the problem with accepting this ship, I have no idea where my other ship is. So, guess what we're going to do? We're going to take it out of here. I got myself turned around. There we go. We're out of the water. And that looks like it's it right there. And we'll just plant it right next to it. All right, there we go. Okay, let's just go down into the water. We're going to pull in our exo crap one more time. There we go. And just do the same thing again. And this seems to me to be the best way to go about doing this. Okay. Let's go back to our ship. Off we go. So we got ourselves a really nice first ship. I like that a lot. Um, you're not always going to find the greatest ships in the world. Sometimes you're going to find yourselves a shuttle and you can't do more but that, than to either accept it or move on and look for another one. Um, I've been accepting them so that I can go up there and sell them again, and that way I can get rid of them. So this is my way of doing this. Hmm, thought I'd be getting there a little quicker. When it said 30 seconds, I thought I might be able to get there faster than that. So we got a really deep ocean here. Uh, that might hopefully be... Oh, good, we got land right next to it. Uh, we'll do the bigger one. All right. Now, this definitely is going to pop out a sentinel somewhere. See? Nothing like a world like that, huh? Yeah, see, this is a shuttle. And this is probably a really cheap shuttle. Oh, but it's an A-class, so it's worth a little bit more. Uh, the launch thrusters are already repaired. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and take it. We'll claim it. Get in board. Just want to repair this. Okay, and we'll get our shield stone. Now, let me show you what I mean. I am not going to repair this all the way. Okay, we're going to leave that alone, and I'll show you what I mean by what I was talking about. So let's go back to our other ship, which is... Uh, yeah, let's just go to the surface. 12, 10, 8. It's over there. Over there. Okay. Looks like the Sentinel tried to follow me out here. 
What a jerk. See, there he is. He's above the surface up there, see? I think that's hilarious. And we're out of here. So I can only get two extra ships, and that's how that works. So let me just head up. And there's our space station. Off we go. All right. So as we head to the space station, we're going to see what happens when we pull these two ships in. Now, I could have flown the other one up there, but whatever. Last thing I need is for a pirate attack, right? In a, sh a ship with no shields on it? Or better yet, a cargo ship with barely any, uh, with probably no uh, cannons on it. Thunk. There we go. The opening to the space station is always facing a planet, so whatever the closest planet is. There we go. Cool looking stations. Really wish everything would stop shaking every time those ships appeared. And there should be no noise. You shouldn't hear anything. It just should be thunk, 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 thunk. They should just pop in. Because in space, there is no noise like that. Anyway, moving on. First things first. Let's pull in our other ship. Let me show you. Let's see if it's worked. Maybe they fixed it. I don't know. So, this is the one that they didn't repair the shield on. Okay, so it is work now. Alright, so I'm going to try that next time with my next ship. I'm not going to repair anything. I try to pull it in. So this one I'm just selling. Because we can't get any salvage from it. See? So we're just going to grab the 1.8. Done. Okay. Now all those things I'm getting from it, and most of them I've just been putting back into my... Uh, uh, crater. Just for now. So we got an upgrade out of it. This one's useless. I'm not even going to bother with it. Uh, we'll probably sell that. Get some more nanites. Okay, so this is the ship it traded me out for. Cheap skates. Alright. Okay, so let's call in the other ship now. And we're going to switch over to... Final Mother. And there it is. So now we get a better look at it. So, I, I'm loving the nose of this ship. I really, really like this a lot. So let's take this in. I'm going to take that nose. <laughs> Salvage. Extract. And that's the cockpit that we're taking, not the wings, because I already got those wings, so that's not a problem. But I'm going to take the cockpit. I'll get those wings again another time. Okay, done. All right, so let's go over here, and let's see what kind of things we create. Now, I'm trying to create the perfect ship, of course. Right? Don't Isn't that all what we all want? So I'm going to start with the hot rod version first. Okay? And then I'm going to add in my S-Class fusion reactor... The wings I would like to see are these. I love those wings. And the thruster, I'm going to go with the round one. And we're going to go purple, blue, yellow. Love the trim on it. I really think that looks cool. Let's see what happens when we look at it when it's assembled. So I'm looking for upgrades in here. There are none. We don't even have one upgraded slot. So do we take the chance in upgrade... Or, you know, with what it has right now, or do we just give up on this one and try a different one? So let me see what happens when we choose something different. It shouldn't have kicked me out all the way. Oh, wait, it didn't. Hold on. Give it a second. There it is. All right, so let's change some things. Let's go with the needle nose. I'm just curious. There we go. Also looking cool. See, now we have an upgraded slot. Back it up. Let's change it back. And I'm going to change some things around here. So let's go with a different wing. And I'm going to go with the heavy-duty wing, which is right here. Hard frame. Also looking pretty pretty beefy, right? I'm going to assemble that. So now we've got three, four, it looks like, supercharged slots. We've only got two next to each other. This could work, but I really want all four within a certain area. You know, three together, one underneath like that or all four of them together if I can end up with that. So I'm going to keep going until I can get what I'm looking for. So let's go with a different wing. Let's go with the 
spread out wings also looking pretty good okay and all we got is the one slot do we take a chance no i'm not going to take a chance on that uh what else we got let's go with the inner turbines over here that looks pretty good i do like that as an alternative I got two supercharged slots completely on opposite sides, and who knows where the other two are going to end up. So, let's do this. How many wings do I have? I only have one of those, so I need more of those if I want to do this. How many of these do I have? Looks like I got... F okay, I've got two of them. All right. So this particular assembly that I really, really adore the most, if I assemble this, again, I don't have any supercharged slots. My guess is that they're going to scatter around. But I'm going to give it a shot now. So let's do this. Let's get a save point. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? So And jump out. Just check that ship over there. It's got a hard frame to it. And he left. That's okay. So my save time is at 36 minutes. Let's go over here and build this ship. And if it isn't what we're looking for, then we'll just give up on it. We'll reload. Okay. One more time. Hot rod. Or... The wings I like the most, which are down here, and the thruster. S oop, nope, nope, we're not done yet. Purple, blue, yellow. There we go. Assemble. Okay, this is it. We're going to proceed. I'm going to add it to my collection. I'm going to jump in the ship real quick. Now it's going to give me a save point. That's the problem. Shouldn't have jumped in the ship. Okay, so let's go to our restore point real quick. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. See, if it doesn't work out, I want to be able to get those parts back. It's getting uh, the hot rod end, I've got two of them, and that's fine. But finding that particular wing is a pain in the neck. And I might be able to find it elsewhere. But I can't wait till we get solar ships. Wouldn't that be awesome? Anyway, all right, so 36 is our save point. One more time, and I'm not going to get in the ship this time. Over. There we go. Hot rod, fusion core, uh, wing, and thruster. Assemble. I did it again. Got to change the colors, right? Purple, blue, and yellow. There we go. Assemble. All right. Proceed. Add to collection. Now we're going to go over to the... to this. And we're going to upgrade and apply an augmentation, right? I got a few of them. So let's go up here and see where my upgrades end up. One is there. That's not good. Two, three... And four. So that's where they are. Really a terrible arrangement. I don't like that at all, unfortunately. So, guess what? We're going to reload. Alright. So we know that's not going to work out for us. So we're going to keep going until we find a station that will give us what we're looking for. So that is my upgrade. So now my goal is to find a station that will give me what I'm looking for. Because if I do this in a different station, it'll give me a different setup as far as my supercharged slots are concerned. So let's give that a shot, and I'm just going to prove that point, okay? Um, yeah, we'll take you. That's fine. Shinote. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, but I looked it up, and I believe it means hand of death. Incoming frequency. Fleet frequency. Let's see what we got going on. I bring bad news. Our fleet has been involved in a serious incident sustaining heavy damage. Please inspect the damage report. I require your advice. The damage report... Ship has sustained mission critical damage. Crew are inspecting performing maintenance. Further damage risk catastrophic failure. 
so we could recall the frigate or continue regardless. So we're going to recall this one. There's really nothing. If they were being uh, attacked by by pirates, that would be another story. And then we can head in. We're being attacked. Okay, let's head in. I'm going to go ahead and recall it. Okay, returning for maintenance. So I can go back and I can fix it. All right. So that's fine. That's fine. Um, I thought we were going to have to go somewhere. Which I could have fought with this, because actually, you know, even though this hasn't been upgraded too, too much, my uh, output on this thing is supercharged. So, putting out 54,000 damage, I think we'll be fine. Alright, let's go to another system. Now, we're going to try to find a decent star system here. Um, I don't think... I don't know. I don't know if it'll make a difference if we go to a two-star or one-star system for doing this. Why don't we test that theory out? Uh, there's a Corvax system with two stars. G8, let's head out. I don't know why it put its solar sails away in hyperspace. That must be new. But the solar ships can do this in hyperspace, so, you know. Have fun with that. You can do a roll maneuver, so I don't know if you folks knew that or not. So this uh, episode, we're about 35 minutes in, uh, getting a little long in the tooth. I think I'm going to have to end this one soon. I like that. It puts its solar sails away for hyperspace now. Oh. Nope. Good. This is one of the new stations. It looks sort of similar to the old stations. But you can see it's definitely different. Pretty neat looking sh still. Alright, let's head in. So again, this is a two-star system here. I kind of like the look of this. Kind of got a haze to it. Almost like a, I hate to say it, purple haze to it. And we can check out ships while we're here. Again, your ship, the ships that uh, come into the station, even if they're, if they're C class, it really doesn't make a difference. So, we don't have any ships to get rid of. Let me go over here. We jumped out at 42. Let's jump in here. Cockpit. Wrong ship. Hi there. Okay, fuselage. We're going to do our... That one, that one, and... Where are you? That one. That one. Change the colors real quick. And assemble. And you see it changed. So, going to a different system changes where the layout is of your... Your supercharged slots. So, again, I can go with one change to this. I can go with the needle nose. Because I do like that look as well. So let me see if that changes anything. Yeah, put some in here, a little closer, nothing special. If we change that out back to the hot rod, and we change the wings to the inner ones. Let's try that real quick. Okay, still a little far apart. One more time. One other wing I can handle. I don't mind these. Let me just try these real quick. There's two others I can try. Okay, one slot down there. The others are going to be above. You know they are. Let's go this one. Heavy duty, right? And they're all over the place. we got a supercharged slot here, 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 and here. Not even close to each other. Useless. And the big spread out wings. Too close to each other. We might get one here, but these are not going to land. It's going to be someplace else. So let me go back to heavy duty with the needle nose. Again, we're just going to keep bouncing around here. It's not bad, but they're still too far apart. That's closer to what we're looking for. Uh, let's go with close in. Pretty close, but the others will appear over here, so not going to work. The next one up, which we've already gone that one and that one, let's go with, and we did heavy duty, let's go outbound. Because I don't think we tried that yet with this one. Yeah, too far apart. We already did the heavy duty, I think. Again, not bad, they're over here, but they're spread apart, we, told, we said that earlier, okay. So let's go with the spread out wings. One up here. That's it. 
So they're going to be spread all over the place there too. And last but not least, this one. Which again, I don't mind. Let me see what we got. One supercharged slot over here. I guarantee the others are going to be over here. Alright, so we're not going to get what we need out of this one. Okay. And the ships we got out here. If There's still some here. We got a hauler and a shuttle. And another hauler. Alright, let's go to a different system, shall we? And I will make this episode probably about one hour or until... or less. No more than one hour. We will go as far as we can get. So, let's see. Viking system. Let's go ahead and do it. There's only two worlds there. Let's go ahead and go. So the whole point is to try to find your system that is going to give you the upgrades or the supercharged slots where you want them. Just getting a pretty ship is one thing, but I want it to be functional too. I want this ship to turn out to be the ship I take in the battle. Whoa, that's a cool looking planet right there, my friend. It's a moon. Hexagonal, yeah, no kidding. Over a planet with water, look at that. Overgrown. Nice. Any other planets nearby? Because I thought there were more than one. Yeah, there's There's one over here. No water, but what does it got? Just out of curiosity. Arched. Okay, cool. There's our space station. Which way is up? I have no idea. I guess this way. Very cool. I love the blues and purples on that. That was really nice. Okay. Shinote is a ship that I got back in the early days when I first started this save and I was really into the reds and blacks more. But the purples, blues, and yellows really got my attention and I've been with that ever since. Alright, here we go. Same exact arrangement. Right? So my favorite wing... And the thruster. There we go. We're ready. Change the colors. There we go. Assemble. See? Supercharged, supercharged, supercharged. So it's not getting us where we want it. So we're going to go second best. Let's go with the nose first. Come on. There you go. Assemble. Better, but not in the right area. It would be something if I ended up with exactly what I'm looking for. Let's leave... Let's put the... Um, that nose back in and we're gonna take the wings and change them to heavy duty first yep too far apart okay let's go to let me think here we did those let's go with the inbound ones yep two slots the slots are just a little bit too far apart from each other okay heavy duty Again, too far apart. Okay, so we got the two favorites and the heavy duty. Then we're going to go on to this one. Okay. Interesting. Right next to each other. We could end up with a third one here. Maybe. But still, that one's a little too far away. It makes it easier. When you have a one further away, it's okay. But what ends up happening is you you don't get quite all the power you need to one item, but you can supercharge a secondary item. So, yeah, see? Here, here, and here. So, all right. So let's just change the nose over to the needle nose. Not going to work. Let's work our way back in the wings. This one. Better. Very close. Let's go to... See, we did that one and that one. Inbound ones. All three of them right there. Look at that. That's pretty neat. If we can just get one more there, it would have been... That would have been like, yep, let's build that. All right. Uh, let's see. So we did the outbound ones, did we already, I think? Yeah, yeah, I see that now. Okay. Heavy duty. 
right there. So the others are going to appear over here, possibly, yeah. All right, I think that's pretty much it, except for these wings. I think we haven't done those yet. Yeah, too far apart. All right, so that's not getting us what we need. Close. We're getting closer. And, of course, if we see a ship with uh, some parts that we like, we'll go ahead and grab it. But I don't see anything, so moving on. Another system. Now, we could land on that planet over there and do a little search with the Nautilin, but I'm not going to do that. All right, moving on. We are going to go out this way. Oh, what do you know? Oh, I thought it was a different... Mm, I can't decide. I'm trying to decide here. A little further in. Ooh, pirate system. Pirate systems won't help us any. Obviously, because they don't have the new space stations. They have their space stations, which are old and dingy. But, you know, it is what it is. All right. I was looking for a three-star. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, one that I haven't been to yet. Let's see what the space station looks like here. Little spin. There we go. Love that. So that's the whole point. Is It's just going to be a matter of time while I look in each and every system. I land at each space station. I have to find a space station that will build what I'm looking for so I can get all those supercharged slots. And it's going to take some time. But here we are. All right, let's go to this one. Ah, nice one, huh? Look at, look at that picture. I mean, look at that. How beautiful is this game? Unbelievable. Beautiful game. Ooh, I almost made it through. Sorry, I had to do that. Every now and then I run across these stations and you just gotta... ...blast your way through, just because. Nice. Tried to do that in VR and I did a horrible job of it. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, this one's got a kind of an orangey glow. Fiery orange. Very nice. They've really knocked it out of the park with this upgrade. Very impressed. All right. Long walk. Okay. Let's see what we can do. So, my usual setup. And what we're going to do on this one is we'll just change out the wings and that's it rather than moving things around. Okay, so there's my setup. And there's the colors. Assemble. See, too far apart again. All three of them, for that matter. Really stinks. We're just going to change the wings now. Go to the second favorite. Two right next to each other, but again, it doesn't give us the option, so I'm really worried that I'm not going to get what I'm looking for. Uh, third is going to be heavy duty. Pretty good. Not great. You're allowed to be picky. Okay, the fourth option I think I would go with is wings. Like those. Way far apart. That didn't work out at all. And finally, these. Supercharge, 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 and supercharge. So these two right here and these two over here, not bad. If these were moved over, I would say, yeah, let's do this. But it just didn't quite get it. 95% cool. Let's put it that way. All right, so let's get rid of the hot rod, and we're going to put the needle nose in, which is my second option, and we're going to work our way back. Definitely didn't do it. So there's our two supercharged slots and one on an angle away from them and one all the way on the other side. All right, let's uh, get rid of the wing. We're going to go with the full wings. Again, two up top, 
separated and then there's one down below and one all the way over there. No, we're not going to proceed. Okay. Third, so that's one, two. We're going to go heavy duty. Work our way back. All the way over here and two all the way over there. Okay. Now we're going to go to the second favorite, which is the inbound. Uh, one supercharged slot. The others are going to be scattered, so not going to work there. Finally, and last but not least, is the out outer turbines. One up here, one over here, and two over here. So, nope, that ain't going to work. So again, fail. What kind of ships we got, if there are any still? Alright, we got one with a droid. Run into the pylon there. And that crappy nose that some people like, I uh, don't particularly care for at all. It's a nice ship, and as I stand near it, they're not going to take off yet. I do like it, but nope. Go ahead. And somebody's coming in. Let me just check out the ship real quick. Nope. Oh, okay. Explorer class. Got two ships. Another Explorer class. Fighter. Looks like the same one that just left. Yeah, it is. Yep. And a hauler. Okay. Let's head out of this system and on to the next one. Well, hope we can find something in the next five to ten minutes, because that's going to be the end of this episode otherwise. And I'll just keep going until I find what I'm looking for. All right. Uh, let's go over here someplace. We've done Viking a lot, and we've done the, the Corvax. Let's do a Gek system. Uh, Gek are yellow? Yeah, yellow. Two. Two. Pirate. Three. Lots of planets. Set over there. You know I was going to do it. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to call this on our last attempt. So we're going hit to hit this space station. We'll take a good close look at it. And then we're going to call it. And we're out. Yeah, look at that little guy over there, huh? And we got a nice planet nearby with an ocean, so I may be checking things out over there at some point. And there's our station. That looks pretty cool. You know, honestly. Let me go past my ship and get it out of the way. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Looks like the top up there is a face that's looking out at you. With like a crown. And on either side are its legs or something like that. Almost like a Buddha or something like that. It really is kind of cool looking. I do like that a lot. Very nice. Interior. Ooh, got a purple interior this time. Very cool. I got into one uh, the other day that was literally, it was teal, and it had a lot of uh, pastel colors inside. It was really interesting. I was expecting to see Barbie part, part, uh, pop out of a uh, doorway someplace. Well, hello! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can make here. Fingers crossed. Let's see if it'll work. Do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. Okay, start with the favorite. Where's your favorite? There's your favorite. And there we go. Color. Done. Assemble. So, one supercharged slot. A lot of space over here, so you know it's not going to work. And let's see. The next one is the internal ones. Assemble. Better. Not good. Where's our third one? Third option is the heavy duty. 
neat. All of them are down at the bottom row, but separated too far to do me any good. All right, fourth one is the outflowing wings. Not going to work. And fifth one is the pods. Also not going to work. Okay, switch over to needle nose. Wow. All three are right there. That's pretty good. Okay. This has a possibility of being a contender. Okay. I just don't like those wings the best at all. So we're going to go to the outbound wings real quick. Spread out. Okay, that didn't work. Let's go to heavy duty. Okay, also spread all over the place, so that's not going to work. Uh, let's go with the second favorites. Two right there. Is there a chance we'll get them down below? I don't know. If they appeared down here next to each other, then it would definitely be worth it. Let's think about it, and let's go with the last one, our favorite. Too spread out. Okay. So I'm going to do the second favorite. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. And I know that we saved at like the 58, 57 mark. So let's go ahead and assemble this. Okay. Looking okay. Proceed. We're going to add to collection. Run over here and upgrade her. Upgrade. Augmentation. No, down there. Wow, look at that. <sighs> almost. It's almost perfect. If it had appeared right here, it would have worked out for me. And I probably would have said, definitely I'm going to accept this ship. But the fact is, it's just a little too far away, and it will cause problems having it that far away. So that's not going to work for me. All right. Restore point at the 58 mark, and we'll get all those parts back. So I'm going to continue on. Do we have time for one more? I've got two and a half minutes. All right. We'll give it one more shot at another station. The X seemed to work out for the best for me and was the closest to what I was looking for. So I just need to find the right station now. And I will go ahead and do that as we speak. There we go. And let's go ahead and cruise out. We'll do one more system. We may come back to Lo Lochasky. Lochask? Lochask. Lochask. I think I like that best. Let's see if there's a system nearby I can choose. Anybody's system will do at this point. But I'm going to stick to the three star systems. There's another Gex system just below it. Lots of planets. Don't want to try to spin while you're about to exit hyperspace. It will actually delay the exit of the hyperspace. All right, here we go. System is right next to it. Well, for a three-star system, that is about the plainest space station I've ever seen. There is nothing to the space station at all. At least on the outward appearance that I can see. All right, let's take a look. I'm liking this a little bit, though. The interior looks almost regal, royal, with all the reds and blacks. Really, really neat. Almost reminds me of, uh, something from Mario Kart. I don't know why. Like, uh, I'm inside Bowser's Castle or something. Really, really neat. I do like the reds and blacks in here. That's really cool. Okay, last attempt. This is it. 
I'm going to go with our first and most appreciative one. Colors. There we go. Assemble. And you didn't give me what I wanted. Okay. So. Alright. Let's just try it out real quick. Give me a couple more moments, folks. We're going to do the second favorite. Nope. That didn't do it. We're going to go with the third. Which is the heavy duty. They're all over the place. Fourth. Uh, which is to spread out wings. Yeah. Okay. Not going to work. And finally, my least favorite. Yeah. Not really going to work there either. All right. Needle nose. Definitely not going to work. Spread out. Not going to work. Heavy duty. Hmm. One slot all the way over here and everything else is open right now. So who knows where they'll end up. Not going to work. Second favorite. Close. No cigar. And our favorite favorite. Here we go. So it looks like I'm going to be looking around a little bit more. All right. So that did not work out for me. But still, this is an absolutely gorgeous station that we've got here. I mean, look at this place. Look at all that. I mean, that is really, really awesome. Let's see what kind of multi-tools they got here. Oh, nice pastel pink. And green. Interesting. Blaze Javelin and a Pulse Spitter on board. B-Class. Not bad. What's the other one? Same one. Also B-Class, except this time you've got your bolt caster in here with a combat scope. All right, interesting. So really nice looking station. I mean, I love the red in here. It is like an overabundance, like too much red. So really, really cool. I do like this a lot. Very nice. What kind of ships are we getting? Couple shuttles. You got this guy right here. He's got the really big pods on the out outbound. I might grab that. Yeah, let me go ahead and grab one of those. And we'll part out that ship as well. But I'm not going to keep you guys much longer. All right. So we'll part out that ship. I'll get those engines from it. And I'm going to go ahead and call this episode ended. So let me just jump in and out of this. And call it a day. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for watching. This has been Alon Paul. This has been No Man's Sky and the Orbital Update. We're doing a lot of ship research, a lot of ship building. We're trying to get just the right ship. And that's just the way I am. No kidding. You know what I was about to say. All right, so we're going to go ahead and call it here. I want to thank you. Please hit the like button, and if you like what you've been seeing, hit the subscribe button. If you've subscribed in the past, you may find you're not subscribed anymore, so please check that out and resubscribe if you don't mind. Appreciate that. Thank you very much, folks. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care.